Plenty of folks will be getting out of the house this weekend and some may be heading down to local festivals. But do you know who's keeping you safe or what you can do to keep uh, yourself safer? Yes, 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Novi for us this morning talking safety and Matt, they're preparing for the Stars and Stripes Festival there, right? Yeah, and it's going to be a great show, a great event for a lot of people. Still doing a lot of the work behind the scenes, but what we can show you is how this works. You know, each individual ride has to have an inspection, and this year they're green cars that look just like this. So this is a ride that's already been inspected by the state of Michigan, meaning it's good for you and your family to get on. But you as a parent can do much more than just check out the inspection stickers. Michigan, the state inspects each and every ride that runs at a carnival. With a mobile amusement park, you have constant construction, teardown, and reconstruction. So all eyes are not only on inspections, but also the fire marshals who double check each spot to ensure they have been tagged properly. If they see that anything is amiss with that, they'll issue a sticker that's a stop sticker essentially, it's indicating that it should not be operated, and we'll issue a cessation order until that issue is remedied. Julia Dale, who oversees the inspectors, says it seldom happens. In fact, in Michigan, they had just four injuries in all of 2017. But to our south in Ohio, a dangerous ride malfunction left one dead in 2017. I saw the people uh, flying off. I saw somebody fall off, and then he hit the emergency stop, which I saw. A reminder of why safety is so important. But the reality is most injuries at carnivals come from less severe incidents, things like bumped heads, hurt backs, and safety experts say parents can be a frontline defense to these things. Most ride accidents occur for children under the age of 13, so they want to make sure that the rides that they're you know, allowing their children to ride on are age appropriate, that the children are not going to be panicked or overwhelmed by the speed or perhaps a change in direction of a ride. So where we are, they're actually going to be having the Stars and Stripes Festival later on this week. They have to get each individual ride inspected. That's the state rules here. One thing that the folks who put this show on, the Wade Shows, they say the important thing for you is to make sure you're paying attention to height requirements. One of the things they don't want people to do is try to have their kids tricking folks to get on them because they do have those safety restrictions in place for a purpose. They say, really, you should be policing yourself, but they make it easier for you by actually putting a list online of all the different rides they'll have here so you as a parent can even check it out and learn a little bit more about them before you show up or at the very least they suggest you talk to the folks when you actually buy the tickets or the wristband to make sure that your kids are getting on the right rides for somebody with their temperament if they don't handle speed well all that type of stuff hey we're live at the suburban collection that's actually where the stars and stripes will be later on this week that's in novi matthew smith seven action news Good thank deal. you very much matt important to be having safety first thank you matthew well speaking of the stars and stripes